Okay, so today when we were talking about assigning students work and then being able to mark it up, here I did two different types of ways to um, enter in my uh, revising passage. So the first way I did it was I went to add, ma oops, <laughs> not touch screen, add materials, and then I did add a Google assignment and did it from there. And then the second one, this one right here, the revising passage, I did add a add assignment and when you do that it does have a spot to add from your google drive so that's why i did that one so now i'm going to go to a student's ipad or a student's account this is my ipad but i'm going to a student's account and i'm going to open up both ways so here is my iPad. I'm trying to, sorry. I wish I had better technology for doing camera work. Um, so here is, um, I'm going to go to courses. I'm going to click on um, ELAR because I'm doing the writing passage. Um, I click on my folders. two and that was for today Wednesday and writing so the reason I want to show you this is because there are some errors that happen if it does you can always try to put it in a different way so the first way I put it in usually works for me when I'm doing this but for some reason on this student's account oh it's working now it wasn't working earlier maybe it just needed a minute so on here a student can um, open this by just clicking their name and that automatically makes a copy for them so here they can come and on if you look on the right hand side of the screen after it loads up all the way um, you can click on the three dots and this is where we're going to go to be able to mark up our document so you'll go to share and export. You're gonna click send a copy. It's gonna ask you to do a PDF. So you click okay to do that PDF file. So here is where you need to, you can click markup and you can just mark it up from there or you can click, um, my suggestion is click save to file so you know where it's at. So here you can click save to files. Um, I'm gonna click on my, on do it on my iPad for right now. And I'm gonna click save copy. So now on the student's iPad, this blue folder right here is where all that is housed. So here is where I just saved a copy of that. So when I click on it, oops, you can change the name, but when I click on that, it's gonna open it up into a PDF. On this PDF, if you notice on the right side of the screen, you will see the little pencil um, tip. If you click on it, that means you can mark it up. So they're gonna have a pen, um, a highlighter tool, they'll have an eraser, they even have a ruler, they can use a ruler in this. So they can click whatever color they're wanting to mark it up with. And this is another thing that you may do on your iPad, you can present this way to your students. So you click on whatever color, you pick a pen, oops, sorry, a pen and a color. And then you can come over here and mark up your PDF file. Now, it automatically will save this, so I'm gonna click done. It automatically saves it into that file. So, now when the student goes back to here, they can open back up that document as a slide. Oh, I forgot to do one step, sorry. I'm going to go back here. I'm sorry. Um, now, this is what I do. 
I've helped my kids at home. So you click the side button and the home button and you can do a screenshot. And then I normally just minute like crop it. You don't have, they don't have to crop it. You don't have to crop it. It's up to you. I just like to crop mine. Um, you click done and then it's gonna, you click save to photos. So now we'll go back to Schoology. We'll open up that in Google Slides. Now you can click add image from photo. Click on the photo you want, click add. It's gonna add it here. I normally, you they could put it off to the side, whatever they want, or you can take and drag and drop it over the original and just make it bigger. Right now it's not gonna want, it doesn't want me to make it bigger, but there we go. Using my pen is a little bit easier. So then I can just put it over that. And there is um, this marked up. So when they click the check mark um, and go back, um, they can go back to where their Schoology is. And if they just, um, it says open and attach. So let's see. Now it's attached that file here. If they open it up, you're gonna see that picture is over that, just to double check yourself. And then they can click, go back to, sorry. Schoology, that was just to check it. And click submit and it will submit it to the teacher. And once they submit it, they cannot go back and mark anything on there. So once it's done, it's done. Um, they can click unsubmit and I think it'll let them go back, but um, once it's done, they can't click on this to do anything else to it. Um, the other way that's in Schoology, let me go back to writing, is the revising passage. It's the exact same thing, but the way you open this one up is they have the assignment here. Um, if you decided to put a description, that description will be here. They click on my document. Um, the document should open up right here in order that for them to get it to edit it they will have to click edit and we'll open it up just like we did earlier you will click the three dots um, share and export um, choose the PDF and then they can mark it up and do the exact same thing. So those are the two different ways you can enter a Google assignment and also how to mark them up, especially with Google Slides. You could also do this with a doc um, or an, if you already have a PDF, you should be able to mark up that PDF using the markup tools on the iPad.